Hello everyone. This is an ABS print. And right now I'm running at 100%. I'm working playing with my light here a little bit. There we go. We're gonna bump it up to 125. There's 125. Yes, it, you can smell it, but it looks like I've got really good bed adhesion right now. Let's bump it up to 150. One fifty right there. Should we push it even further? Let's go one seventy five. There's one seventy five. And why not? For 200. You get the tone of the machine change. I mean, the steppers on this are doing great. There's 200. This is just. I had a Mark uh, Mark III upgraded to Mark III S. Great printer, but <laughs> there's no comparison to this machine. It really isn't. So I'm getting my video, so you can see it. Here, sorry for the focus. Okay, so let's take it down to 100 so you can hear the difference, all right? Here we go. Boom. I mean, to convert to my 3S, this is fast. To go 200 is just incredible. And this is ABS, folks. It is 3D Solutech ABS. Getting a little bit of popping with the ABS. It's been in a Ziploc bag for a long time. There might be a little bit of moisture in it, but so far it's pretty okay. Let's get right up on to it. It has cut the print time by at least a fourth going from standard to input shaper and then you double that to 200%. That cuts it in even half of that. So that's amazing. So four hours, one hour. So right now at 100%. Got 52 minutes left. So let's boost it up to 200 and see what it says. Twenty-five minutes.
I have an iPhone XS Max that I'm using to record this with. Back to 100. did themselves. Really gonna enjoy printing with this machine. There's a lot of heat coming off that heat bed though. about as close as I dare get. for watching everyone. And I'll have more videos to follow. Have a great evening.